Hello and welcome to That Canon Guys Reviews. Today we'll be doing a guide on how to test to make sure flashes are safe for your digital Canon SLR camera and also how to set your settings to adjust for exposure compensation on the, with these flashes. And today we'll be doing it with a Vivitar Auto Bounce 40D dedicated flash unit which by the way any like the 2600D, the 40D Almost all the Vivitar flashes that say D after the name are safe for your camera. But in case you're unsure if a flash is safe for your camera, this is how you test it. Okay, so I have batteries in here, just use AA lithiums. Once it's charging up, first of all you can just flash like that. But anyway. Okay, see I have my digital multimeter here, which has two positive and a negative. I'm gonna turn that on. And I believe that I I personally would suggest flashes only that are under under 11 watts. Under, otherwise, they may fry your camera, which is absolutely not what you want. So this one, so you touch one, there's a contact, all flashes right there, and you want to touch the middle pin on the flash. If it doesn't give you a reading, then you know you're doing something wrong. But let's see here if I can touching that pin here. It's a little bit tricky. Yep, and there you go. You can see I'm getting a reading there, which this one will jump a little bit. But this one I see is topping out at 8.98, which means it is safe for a Canon. So, that's pretty much how you test your flash. If it goes anything above 11, I would definitely never use it with your camera, or it may fry it. Let's turn that off. And now I'll show you how to do the exposure compensation thing to make this flash so it exposes correctly. First of all, on this certain flash right here, zoom in on it, the noise here, okay, you have to change it to A2, which is a less powerful setting. There's A1, which is the least powerful, or A, A1 is the more powerful, and A2 is the less powerful, and there's also manual. And then I would set it to, on your camera here, just get a lens on here. It's a lens. It's a 28 to 90 millimeter standard lens. But anyway, let's say we're in. Uh, okay, we have to be at aperture priority mo mode to use this properly, and you have to go to f4, which you have to make sure your lens actually goes to f4. This one actually doesn't. Okay, let's see here. Or you can go if you you adjust it with the ISO up here. And it goes up to 1,000 ISO on this one, down to 64. So I'm going to put it up to 400 ISO, which would give you an aperture of f8. So I put that on there, and I also set my ISO of 400. And then we are pretty much good to go. Pour this on. It's all hooked on there. Good to go. And then when I take a picture with this. Okay, because I took too many there. See, that one is nicely exposed right there. And now, maybe that is. Here you go, I'm gonna. I'll just take one here. And as you can see, that one there is nicely exposed. If you go into program mode and try this out, it will not work properly, and this will be very overexposed as opposed to. Properly exposed, and of course you put it in manual. That just, it just is crazily, crazily overexposed like that instead of that or that. So, pretty much, my advice is it's off here. If you have an ISO on here, set it to the ISO on your camera, and also put it in aperture priority mode so you can set the aperture to what it says in here. Set it to 5.6, which is A1, or A2, which is F11 for ISO 1000. And of course, never ever set to M. That's way overkill. It will totally overexpose your photos. And you'll have to do a lot of post-processing on that. Okay, so thanks for watching. And if you like our videos, please hit the subscribe button above as well as the like button below. And if you want any other tests like this, or filter set tests, anything, old lens tests, old camera tests, anything you could think of, we have an extensive stock of stuff at the ebay store that underscore canon underscore guy go check it out if you are looking for that kind of stuff 
or you can just suggest stuff because we have a lot of stuff in stock. So again, thanks for watching.